Right, final list review for me today. This is for Lasse Lynn Peterson. He is bringing a German list uh, to the Nationals, and he has a first, uh, no, he has a second lieutenant regular with two extra men. Now, this is an interesting choice, because normally I would say that, that you need to be a small team with your lieutenant, but he's regular, so those extra men get, get free uh, assault rifles, so you can, you can make that into a, a small infantry unit that is fairly survivable and fairly killy. Um, so I, I kind of like it, and it's even better when it has preparatory bombardment because the unit can't actually die from the preparatory bombardment, which was one of the things that with a small unit, with a single man, lieutenant or two man unit, you might lose one and the unit is gone, right? Um, but in this setup, it's not. So I'm learning something new. I'm learning to like the three man lieutenant units. Then he has um, two units of veteran Falchim Jaegers. They're really good. Uh, which both of them have LMGs. Um, possibly not worth it for the points, but if they're going to be backline holders, perfectly fine. They need those extra shots, they need the range. And they have Panzerfaust each of them, so the enemy army armor don't want to come too close to them, because a Panzerfaust to the face is never fun. Um, so so I think these are really good backline holders. Seven men in each unit. They are also pretty big so they can survive. Um, yeah, I kind of like them. Then he has a Brandenburger veteran unit. Brandenburgers are, are really fun because they mess up the enemy's uh, ability to outflank and uh, come on with his reserves. So they're, they're influencing the game in, an, in a novel way that not many other units do. Um, and he's tooled them out so that they are also kind of killing. He has given them all assault rifles, which means that when they come on from the outflank, they have that extra range and can still five men, assault rifles, that's ten shots, they can pretty much clear out an artillery position or something, right? And they also have two Panzerfausts, so be weary of putting your armor too close to the edges, because they're going to come and they're going to kill it. Um, the the final veteran unit that he has, he has four veteran units, is a five-man Sturmpreneur uh, unit with three SMGs and a Flamer and two Panzerfausts. Very, very killy, especially dangerous if they have transport. Um, because they can they can split fire. They can kill the one unit of infantry and then kill the, uh, the tank right next to it as well. One turn. The final uh, choice he has made is uh, six Osttruppen men. They're inexperienced, they're pretty cheap, they're pretty crap. They can't really do that much, but they can stay on an objective and, and score that objective, which is all you need them to do. He has brought as his artillery choice a Nebelwerfer with a horse-drawn limber to draw it in if he needs to. You don't actually need to anymore with the newest facts, but the horse-drawn limber is a nice cheap order dice, right? And the Nebelwerfer is a really good choice for Germans. It's a really competitive uh, and good choice. And especially if there's like lots of houses on the board where you're going to fight, that Nebelwerfer is going to come in clutch. It will make the enemy spread out. He has a Panzer III, Auf G, um, which I believe is the one with the medium anti-tank gun, if I remember correctly. It's an 8 plus tank. It's, it's a good tank. And we're seeing a lot of Panzer threes for the Germans, for the Danish nationals. The uh, Adrad 233 uh, is his armored car choice. I really like this Adrad uh, for Germans for an armored car choice. It's a really good choice. Um, and then he has a uh, SDKF set 250 slash 1 regular and a Kuhlwagen for his transports. So my guess is that he'll try and, and put as much of his um, his kill units in, in one of these uh, transport uh, pieces so that he can move stuff up and, and kill it. Um, 12 order dice, 1,000 points. Lazar, good luck. I'll see you at the Nationals.